Hi guys, it's Lucy and today I'm doing a video all about my half marathon. Now, I wanted to make this video because I am on a weight loss journey and a fitness journey currently and I have been for the last year. I do as much research as possible, especially when it comes to the running and the fitness aspect of my journey because I've got no idea. I don't know where to begin, what to do, progress in any sport. <laughs> Luckily, I do have my husband who can help me out massively. When he's not around and I just want answers, I tend to go online and I look for advice online another thing that I also do is I try and find people that I can relate to something that's gonna motivate me something that's gonna encourage me to keep going and reach goals that I didn't think was possible at the very beginning of my journey I ran one mile non-stop and that taught me anything I work at is possible so this video is basically come running with me. <laughs> on Monday, my husband had the day off work, so we decided to do a half marathon distance run together. So, as I was saying before, I used to look for motivation. The reason that I wanted to film this half marathon distance was because I didn't really come across many women or men who could do that sort of distance that looked like me. I was watching a lot of athletic, fit people who were doing the distances that I was looking to do, the half marathons, the marathon. And the thing was, it was extremely motivating. I absolutely loved all the videos that I watched, but I couldn't relate to any of them. They were running a pace and a distance that they were comfortable at. And honestly, at the beginning of my journey, the reason I didn't go running outside was I was just so self-conscious. I didn't want to be the overweight, sweaty girl that was having to stop and walk in front of everyone. Now, I know that that is ridiculous and I should never have felt that way. I was holding myself back. So, today I've decided to put all of my clips together and make the video that I was looking for at the beginning of my journey. I've already lost over 60 pounds in this last year and a massive, massive amount of that is due to my running. So, if you are overweight, you have massive goals that people laugh at you for, I got laughed at, then keep watching and you'll see see that I don't look glamorous, I don't look, I don't even look happy, <laughs> I'm uncomfortable, I'm in pain, I'm sweating, but I do not care what I look like, all I care about is running the half marathon. So let's get into it. Before doing the half marathon, it was my daughter's third birthday the weekend before. She turned three, so you can imagine there was birthday cake, cupcakes, she loves pizza, so we treated her to a Domino's that evening. Obviously, I had a pizza. <laughs> So the nutrition on the build up to the, mar the half marathon wasn't great and that was something that I was worried about because I didn't really think, I didn't really prepare and it is something else that I really need to research more. I also two weeks before did my first ever half marathon and I had a bit of a niggly knee pain while I was doing it but that was another thing that I was a little bit concerned about. The plan was to do the exact same route as last time. We ran through our local area towards a village. On the way to the village is long train tracks and there's also a long river that we had to basically run alongside. So it was a great choice because we can just keep running and running and running. Once we hit to a certain distance we can just turn around and come back. So, the beginning of the run. We dropped my daughter off at nursery and we just went straight for it. Mile one was absolutely fine. <laughs> the first two miles on basically every run I do, I find that it's difficult. I get really breathless, I get really tired, and I start thinking to myself, I've only done two miles. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I've learned that you can just run through that and once you get past the first two miles, generally I'm okay. So my plan was do not run too fast in mile one. So I was feeling confident, I was feeling comfortable and I was just happy to be out with my husband. <laughs> my contact lens, on the other hand, had other ideas for me. I don't know what was going on with it. I think I had something underneath the lens and it was, it was blurry. I was basically running with one eye and it was so, so irritating because the thing was, I knew I had nearly three hours of running potentially to do and there was no way I was gonna go to do it with just one eye. <laughs> okay, so we're two miles in, feeling all right. I had a problem with my contact lens, but that's gone now, thank God. And my knee was hurting. Well, no, my knee is hurting, my left knee. But I think that's gonna go away. So, 
let's keep going. The thought of having to do that many miles is so daunting. Even though I've done it before, running is my hobby, I love it. It still is daunting. I just want to get to mile three, because I've only got single digits left. I'm feeling all right, I'm getting going. <laughs> I'm back backwards. running backwards and bring with me. But yeah, I'm feeling okay. My plan is to pace myself as well as possible. <laughs> I can't run backwards that fast. You know what? I'll tell you about it in a bit. In my mind, I just wanted to have single digit miles left. I still had quite a lot left. So my plan was to just pace myself. I wasn't trying to beat my time from last time. I wasn't trying to beat any time at any part of the run. I just wanted to complete it. And I wanted to complete it in a way that I wasn't gonna be disheartened and not wanna do it again. So I really need to plan and focus and train on pacing. From three miles onwards, the pain on my knee was actually quite bad. We were starting to get away from our local area at this point and I was telling Matt it was hurting and it hurt last time and I was able to run through it but this time it felt very different and it felt very painful at that point I was mentally having doubts thinking is today gonna happen said last time I kept running and it eased away and it went away and I, nothing really happened so I just kept going I grit it and carried on so around four miles into this route there is a really really steep hill I don't think the clips give it justice at all. It is really, really steep. Normally, I would use hills or slopes or anything like that to have a bit of a break on the run and be able to get a little bit of my time up. But I, this one is just so steep and it was so hard to run down. And also, I didn't want to hurt my knee anymore. So obviously, like you're stamping down on this downhill and I didn't want to hurt my knee anymore. So I had to just try my best really and to, to get down that. <laughs> so the route that we did was the same as last time and it's very scenic. Um, there's lots of boats, there, there's a nice river there. It's just really nice to run round. I'm used to running round uh, like the houses, we've got a gym near us, it has like a, a path that I can just do laps of. It's really, really nice to just be somewhere different. Have just a nice area to run and there really was barely anyone out as well. Okay, I'll be right Four or three quarter miles, and we got to the lake. River. River. So we're gonna have a nice view for the next however many miles we're gonna run this with Lonely for. And I feel okay, the pain in my knee has subsided. Um, so I feel so much better on my knee, but I'm just starting to get tired now. Well, that's okay. I just pace myself and I'll get through it. Yeah. From this point, the pain was easing from my knee, and I was so grateful for that. I I really was getting worried that it was it was just going to get worse, but it didn't. So normally, I would be absolutely fine for three quarter miles. It's not a distance that I would struggle to achieve at this point in my fitness journey, and I felt like I was a bit concerned, really, for the whole thing. I was concerned the whole way through at this point, by the sounds of things. But yeah, I was just a bit concerned because I just thought, well, I can easily that distance, like that distance would be. Um, um, like a short run for me. I was a bit confused but I also need to mention that it doesn't matter how often you run. I've heard this so many times from different runners. It just depends on your body. It depends how your body feels on the day. It all comes down to how your body feels. So by mile six, I was really starting to feel tired, I would say. I wasn't fatigued, I was just tired at that point. So I was still feeling good. What I tend to do is I check on my legs and my breathing. If one of them is not great, then I'll run through until it's fine. And then if the other one then starts playing up, then I run through until it's fine. So at that point, I was checking on my legs. Mentally, I do this, checking on my legs checking on my breathing, everything's fine. Although at that point, that was when I started to need some water. I really started to get thirsty at that point. Mile eight, okay, so mile eight screamed out to me, really did start to struggle. Mentally, 
I was okay. Okay, mile nine. Now, this was getting super hard for me now. I'm sure about how I was gonna feel at mile nine because last time I wasn't feeling great at all. This was when my pace slowed right down as well. I was really starting to feel like I wasn't getting anywhere. I'm on mile nine and I did have to stop and walk. I'm so fatigued, I'm so tired, my legs are hurting. It's really getting difficult. From what I remember last time, long night was hard. And I've really started to feel it. Honestly, about seven and a half miles in. But I've just got to remember, I've got to get back somehow. Walk or run. Might as well run. So, oh, this is and then we get to mile 10. Now, that big steep hill that I mentioned earlier on in the run, well, that just, <laughs> that is mile 10 in my run, and it's back up, which is fantastic. It's not great, and I think about having to go up that hill the whole time I'm running through the river as well. <laughs> but the thing is, I, I tell myself that there's no way that I'm gonna be able to run up that hill. I don't think I will be able to run up that hill in mile one. I'll just have to walk it. That hill is an absolute killer. I'm just getting my breath back. <sighs> getting myself together. And it's just 10 miles now that I've done. So it's just a 5k run left. I can do 5k runs in my sleep. Come on, easy. And also I've got to pick my daughter up and I can't be late, so. But it was hard work, but it was kind of a break at the same time from running. Now, mile 11, I was unable to talk to the camera. I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to get any more clips of me talking to the camera at this point. I, my breathing was heavy, my legs were tired, I was getting pain in my hips, my knee was hurting again, my back was starting to play out. I also really started to feel sick as well at this point, so I knew that I was really pushing myself. Mile 12, so I was getting so, so close at this point. I did have to stop and walk a couple times. I was so tired, I was in so much pain, my feet were killing me, my hips were hurting, my back was hurting, I was so breathless, and I just knew I looked an absolute mess at this point. <laughs> Mentally, I was done. Mentally, I just thought, this isn't happening today. I can't do it. But I also knew deep down, I was so close that, well, I, I have to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> it is a weird battle that you have with yourself in your head. And then finally, mile 13, that was really, 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 really hard. <laughs> I don't think I need to have to explain how hard that was. You can probably tell how difficult that was. The pain I was feeling, it was, and when I say pain, it wasn't just fatigue, I was tired. Like, I was in physical pain. It was in my legs, it was in my ankles, it was in my feet, it was in my toes. Even my toenails felt sore. My back, my hips my knees, both my knees at this point. I also was running. I wasn't, didn't feel like I was moving. I didn't feel like I was getting anywhere. And every time I looked at my watch, it just wasn't changing. <laughs> but I did eventually finish. And that's the finish, I think. Done. Nearly, nearly. Oh my god. So I was so so tired at the end of that run. Obviously you can see that I was definitely happy, but I was definitely tired. On the way back I had to walk to the nursery at that point and I just looked like something out of zombie film. I just was in so much pain and I was so stiff as well. While Matt went and got Chloe from nursery, I just I, I just sat down on the on a on a field nearby and just stretched. I was so hungry, I felt so sick and I think 
that was why I felt sick is because I didn't eat anything on that run at all. I probably should think about nutrition on these long runs. When I got home and I tried to stretch, I was too stiff to even stretch at that point. I got back and I made myself some jam on toast. I put loads of jam on and it was amazing. It really sorted me out that jam on toast did. I felt so much better afterwards. I just felt so happy, so proud of myself. And even though I went through all of that in mental torture, physical pain, it doesn't sound fun but honestly I am buzzing to do it again I was a little bit slower than last time but I don't care I've, I've now done two half marathons I am overweight I am so proud of myself what am I going to achieve when I get to my goal weight a full marathon? <laughs> the thought of doing a full marathon at this point actually terrifies me but thank you so much for watching and I really hope that I've achieved what I wanted to achieve is making a video that people can relate with me to they can see themselves in me and say I can go out for a run I can put my trainers on I can go if she can go out looking like that in front of everyone then I can go out and not care what people think because how I felt about myself after that run was was so incredible if anybody looked at me and thought any neg anything negative about me while I was running it literally didn't matter it was just the runners high overtook everything the pride and the happiness that I felt and the achievement that I had and just overrides any negativity or anything that anyone could have thought in that time thank you so much for watching guys and i absolutely loved making this video and filming those clips for you on monday so i am booked in to do a full marathon in october <laughs> but thank you again for watching and i hope you guys are doing well with your journey with you're trying to lose weight gain weight gain fitness whatever it is i want you to know that you can do it and i'm wishing you the absolute best i'm cheering you on massively cheering you on keep going guys Lots of love, take care and I will see you soon for another update. Bye guys!